guys, it's Elle here and today I'll be filming a get ready with me I've been trying to film a get ready with me for the longest time ever But I'm just so bad at talking and doing my makeup at the same time And usually I, when I'm in front of the camera, I feel like I'm still too constrained in respect to this video I've asked you guys to drop some assumptions about me in this video I'll be doing my makeup and at the same time I'll be answering you guys whether those assumptions are true or false basically I just wanted to talk to you guys and maybe also update you guys on what's going on in my life but then again I don't think I'm super interesting so we'll see how that goes of course i'm gonna start with a sunscreen because sunscreen is so important you guys um i'm using this one from bure the reason why i emphasize so much on sun sunscreen is because um sunscreen can prevent the UV rays from sunlight that accelerates aging since right now I'm just 19 and I think anti-aging products are still a little too early for me to use that's why I I think and I also recommend that you guys use sunscreen to just protect your skin guys that's just so important Personally, I really like this one from Bure because it's like a lotion texture and it doesn't leave me with a white cast. Alrighty, maybe I should use a clip to clip my hair backwards. I don't know. Today's look is going to be a very, very simple muted orange look which i came up with last night and it turned out really nice right now i'm gonna begin with covering my under eye circles i'm sorry if i constantly look down it's because um, i have a mirror here and i just want to make sure that i'm going in the right direction and then now i'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation which is the born this way foundation by too faced starting with the center of my face And I'm gonna read off my first assumption. You're really, really rich. Um, no, I am definitely not really, really rich. I would say, um, well, I really don't know how to answer this question. I'm really not super rich or anything. Okay, my family isn't poor, so sorry, I just adjusted the camera. So as I said, my family is not rich whatsoever. Well, we're not poor either. <laughs> Every bug is owned by my parents and I'm super grateful for that. They support me in everything I do and I honestly can't be grateful enough. Um, I'm also trying to be financially independent. Make sure you blend the foundation on your neck as well. And right now I honestly look so pale but I promise you it's gonna be better once I smash some contour on. Honestly this foundation is so good. I cannot rave enough about it. I have combination skin, so I have a oily T-zone with uh, normal to dry cheeks. 
um, I have dry cheeks in the winter time but this foundation honestly truly lives up to its name worn this way it just looks really natural it's not cakey at all I absolutely love this foundation it's my second bottle yeah if you guys have dry skin please look into this foundation I just put on my foundation as you guys can tell it's very buildable coverage but I'm still gonna go in with my concealer because I have another dark acne scar here and right now I'm gonna move on to brows and reading off our next assumption you're excited to come to London and go to a cute cafe with me Aww, is this an invitation because I'm down girl <laughs> oh it's by Alexia she's so cute yes of course I'm super excited about going to London because I just love traveling and it's gonna be a new chapter of my life and I'm really excited to be finally studying and specializing in what I like and hopefully I'll meet new people and make new friends so yes i'm really excited about going to london and yes i will go to a cute cafe with you of course and right now i'm gonna be doing my brows so i'm not gonna talk That looks about right, but I'm gonna just fix it a tiny little more. And right now I'm gonna bring the bangs back because I just cannot bear seeing my face like that. I look so ugly. Oh my god. Let's put some contour on this face, shall we? And reading our next assumption, you don't like Bucharest that much. Um, and if you guys didn't know or already know, I lived in Romania for the past nine years, I would say. And yes, uh, and yes and no, I guess. Um, for the past eight or nine years, I've lived in this city and. I've made a lot of friends here that made me fell in love with the city more but at the same time I just much prefer a bigger city a more maybe more international city and uh, because I don't really speak Romanian so maybe to some extent, I could not connect with the local culture here. Oh my god, that's way too much contour. I can't. I told you I'm bad at doing makeup and talking at the same time. For my nose contour, I'm gonna use this, my usual go-to contour by, which is an eyeshadow by MAC in the shade Omega. So as I said, this city embodies a lot of my childhood. I grew up here, so I will be missing it. But I'm a girl that's um, more into metropolitan kind of vibe and Bucharest is like very European, very small kind. I don't really know. I feel like because I wasn't really familiar with the language, I did not explore as much. But I definitely have some hidden gems which I really really love in Bucharest. The next assumption is you get average grades in school honey no <laughs> 
I do not get average grades at school. I work so hard. Yeah, honestly, I can't say I get the top grades, but I do work hard and I study quite a lot to get where I am right now. But um, I would say my grades is like average to above, like in the upper end. In my in my year group, I would say. Yeah, I do study a lot. I don't know, do I seem dumb? Do I seem like I'm the type that get as average grades at school? And right now, I'll be moving on to eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this blush actually, which is from the Chinese brand Judy Doll. Today, my makeup look is gonna be predominantly from this blush. But first, I'm gonna cover my lids. So we have a clean canvas here So yeah, I do not get average grades at school I'm actually a pretty good student The next assumption You really want to become a famous celebrity Absolutely no Absolutely not I'm filming videos right now And in the future I do want to become a influencer I know that word is super sensitive right now, but I'm I really really like making videos and I really really like sharing my ideas and helping other people. Um and that's the main reason why I still keep doing these videos. I I still keep making these videos, but in no way am I trying or wanting to become a famous celebrity. Yeah. I'm sorry, like, I lost track when I talk. I'm gonna start using this eyeshadow. This blush is such a pretty color. It's just a muted orange. So if you guys wanna create this look, but you can't have access to this exact blush, you can just grab your nearby or get a muted orange toned whether it's like blush or eyeshadow I think it all works and this blush honestly for a blush it's so pigmented already and that's why you can use it as an eyeshadow so keep that in mind when you're picking out a shade I'm gonna just slather this on and keep building around it if you guys can tell let's move on to the next assumption you're actually an extrovert what do you mean you're actually maybe you already you already see me as an introvert the answer is no i'm an introvert i am really like i'm pretty zen and i don't i'm not good at socializing although maybe you see me being confident in front of the camera and talking and making videos like this i'm actually quite shy and introverted in real life i guess Although my 16 personalities test uh, says I'm somewhere in the middle You know where there's a spectrum where if there's introverted to extroverted I'm like somewhere in the middle so maybe it depends on which um, area or topic I might be more introverted or extroverted The next assumption is while well, we move on to our next product I will be using this eyeshadow by Judy Doll in G33 I absolutely adore this eyeshadow it's a orange shadow but it has like green undertones and it, it's a really interesting shade I don't even know how to describe it I'm just gonna dab that in the middle of my lid 
gonna be so pretty okay moving back to the assumption you're short in real life honestly depends on who you're comparing me into i'm five foot five which is 165 centimeters around that because i don't have an accurate measurement tool around me so i haven't measured myself in quite a while but i do know that i am around 165 centimeters and i'm asian so i would assume that in asian girls i am pretty okay i'm not short i'm not petite i'm like average average yes i personally think i'm not that short i could be shorter considering i'm asian but i think 165 centimeters is a decent height for my body frame or for asian girls i would say right now i just applied that glittery eyeshadow and it's looking very very bling bling and right now i'm gonna be putting on some eyeliner no actually before that i'm gonna curl my eyelashes This eyelash curler from Muji is honestly so good. I highly recommend it to y'all which have like straight Asian lashes that literally go down because those are my lashes. It works wonders and it doesn't hurt. Like I've had eyelash curlers before where it basically just it would hurt my eyes because it would pinch my eyelids and it would hurt so bad but this one does not do that to me and yeah it's my favorite i'm gonna use the kiss me mascara as you guys can tell the eye makeup is like really really simple nothing too fancy and right now, I'm going in with the eyeliner. Does that look decent? What I was trying to say is that I do not recommend liquid eyeliner to makeup beginners because it's honestly so difficult <laughs> to get your wing right. But that's the best I can do. Let's move on to the next assumption now that I'm done with my eyeliner because it was just too intense for me to talk. Um, you always want to travel abroad. I do! I always want to travel because I love traveling and seeing new cultures. Yeah, that's true. I do want to travel abroad. Right now, I'll be doing my blush which is from the same blush that we used earlier as eyeshadow. This blush is honestly like an almighty tool, I'm telling you guys. And honestly, this brand is just so good. Like some Chinese makeup brands are really making their way in the beauty industry and I'm just loving their products. I also put quite a lot on my nose. I look like a clown now, but it's okay. Our next assumption. You like pineapple on pizza. I know this is a heated debate, but yes, I do. I used to not. I used to no. Not that I didn't like it. I used to just have a neutral feeling towards it. Like I don't hate it. I don't love it. But recent years, I've been really loving Hawaiian pizza and I've been craving for pineapple on pizza. So I guess, yeah, I could say that I do like pineapple on pizza. But I do know people that hate sweet and salty, so please don't kill me. So moving on to the final stages of my makeup look, I'll be using these two lip products. 
which I've been loving recently. I'm gonna start with outlining my lips using this 3CE lipstick in the shade Inked Heart. And as you guys can tell from my last makeup video, I really loved overlined lips. And in this video, I'm also gonna do that, but using a lipstick. So hopefully, I hope it's gonna go well. I will say the downside to these lipsticks is that it's a little bit drying but other than that this series is like the color is so on point and then going in with this color in the center which is crushed lip color from bobbi brown in the shade blackberry Oh god, I forgot to prime <laughs> I forgot to prep my lips before I did this and now my lips are like so dry. I would say that's pretty much it for this makeup look. It's super simple, but Make sure you're wearing contacts because it makes a really big difference Otherwise, it can seem like it's a quite light makeup, I would say I don't even know what I'm talking about Maybe I'm gonna like darken the outer corner of my eyes Should we put on some highlighter? I think we should I'm gonna use this from my chocolate bar palette and just put that on the high points of my face and that's pretty much it I put on my Stella Lou headband Now I look cuter say that's pretty much it for today's look i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really nice chatting with you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course give this video a like if you guys didn't already hit the bell button make sure to do that and yeah until next time love from stella <laughs>